Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is John Dinsmore. I'm the Usher Assistant Professor in Digital Health and a Deputy Director of the Trinity Centre for Practice and Healthcare Innovation at the School of Nursing Midwifery uh, at Trinity College Dublin. And in the next five minutes, I'm going to give a very brief uh, overview of my experience in leading an EU project. Um, I've been very fortunate under Horizon 2020 to secure uh, three awards, two as coordinator, that being PROACT and CERO. Um, and PROACT was the starting point for my involvement in leading uh, an EU project. Uh, we were secured in 2015, we started 2016, we received 4.87 million to develop a digital platform to enable older adults to self-manage at home with multimorbidity. It was a hugely successful project and what you can see here in this image is that the outputs from that project have enabled us to secure f further awards at both national and EU level. Uh, that's included uh, a Marie Curie ITN, there are five academic partners, Trinity's one, and Ciro, which will see, see the PROACT platform move from proof of concept testing to, to large scale trials. Um, I've included the links here, and in the interest of time, you, you know, I'd advise if you could explore the links, you can see what the, the projects are about and how they interlink. So to get to the, the I guess the, the focus of this presentation, you know what's involved in leading a project. Um, firstly, time. Um, the commitment is significant, so make sure you have the capacity. Your role as coordinator is to, you know, see all the moving parts of the grant and bring it together. And there are a lot of moving parts in these big grants, so that takes a lot of time and commitment to do that. The second point is people management, and I think this is the most important factor. In Proact, we have fifty-four people. Um, across 12 organizations and six member states. So your ability to manage at a local level, but also at an EU level, keep everyone committed, understand the politics and dynamics of your partner organizations and help them in the implementation of the action or the project, uh, as well as get through challenging periods is hugely important. That comes to my third point, your problem solving ability. If you're funded, your work program solid. So it's probably factors outside of that that will impact. In our case, in Proax case, it was Brexit. One partner sh shut up activity in the UK and we had to transition work to the Netherlands. So the team changed and that caused challenges at that period in the project and we had to work through that. So linking in with your project officer and maybe national contact points to support you in these processes is hugely important. And uh, it worked in the end and, and again, Proact was a success. And then my final point, communication momentum. These projects happen over a number of years, setting your standards for, you know, what you expect from the consortium. Um, when meetings will happen, you know, when deliverables will be expected, um, the level and standard that you expect of those deliverables is really important. So set that standard early, set the communication processes early. In my consortia, I like to have weekly um, technical and research meetings. It seems like a lot of the, the partners actually work with it. Not everyone has to attend. As long as somebody from the organization attends and you know, feedback and um, you know, give up updates, it, it seems to, to work really well and keep everyone on board. So advice if you're considering leading a project in uh, Horizon Europe, find a mentor if it's your first time. It will save a lot of pain in terms of understanding the processes. Know the call inside out, including the frequently asked questions and any related documents that are on the website. Choose your partners wisely. Um, big red flag for me is if they're not contributing to the proposal um, and you drag them through, uh, the chances are you might struggle with them if you're, you're awarded. Keep calm and focused, particularly in terms of uh, applications. You'll get a lot of thoughts, a lot of input. As coordinator, your role is to structure the vision and make sure that you're happy with it in terms of moving forward, because that's what you will be awarded to do. So you have to be confident in that vision and your, in your ability to deliver it. Um, use the support of your finance, research and legal offices and your institutions, your national contact point. And once you're awarded the grant or, or if you're awarded the grant, establish a good relationship with your project officer. Lead by example on the grant as well as in the project. So. You know, as a coordinator, I, I find you're writing most of the application. It could be 80 to 90% of the application. You're getting input, but you structure it, you write it. You, it takes, I think, one person to keep the narrative consistent. Um, and in terms of the grant, if you're awarded, I always make sure our, our organization leads the first deliverable. So we'll set the standard and everyone else will then see that. Uh, be organized from the beginning, have good project management in place. And as I said, that, that helps with communication uh, and keeping that momentum and set that high standard early uh, and never drop from it. That would be, be my advice. 
Uh, and then finally, what are the benefits of getting involved in the EU project? Well, definitely advancing your research career at an international level is a fantastic opportunity. Um, it'll help you develop your research expertise, you know, with the consortium and all the expertise and of all the partners that comes in board, but also your research management uh, uh, ability and, and, you know, from legal and finance and all these other perspectives, not to mention your grant writing, because if you secured it, I mean, it, you know, you, you've done extremely well and, and that will stand forward or that will help you forward, sorry, in, in terms of applying for future grants. Um, advancing your career, I mean, the peer recognition uh, of achieving or securing a large award, the publications and outputs, and we're, we have a lot coming from ProAct and related projects at the minute. You'll expand your network, which will help you then apply for other uh, awards uh, and find other opportunities. Um, and that includes, for example, for us, we're spinning out now some of the IP created in the project, which for, as an academic is hugely exciting. And then finally, as a coordinator, you know, you know, it, it's personal development. Um, it will build your confidence. It's a hugely challenging thing to do. Um, you'll deal with pressure and problems at different levels, working with different people across different cultures. So being able to do that um, and lead on that, you'll learn a lot. Um, and I think just, you know, it's an incredible experience. It's tough, but it's incredible. And um, I wish you all the best in terms of anyone applying for um, awards under the new calls. And with that, I'll wrap up. Uh, my contact details are here if anyone wishes to get in touch if they have any queries. Thank you very much.